is uh, the injury updates on Bellow, the stats of the rainy, and the Zeta uh, well, George Bello uh, returned, of course, uh, on the training uh, ground, and uh, he's he looking good, but he will not be uh, in the roster uh, for this game. Uh, he will be replaced by uh, Lawrence Wyke. He uh, will be uh, filling his spot. Uh, Miles Robinson, you know, is still uh, not there where we want him to be. Same of uh, Edgar Castillo, you know, with his broken rib, uh, still not uh, available for us. Uh, the rest uh, looks uh, fit. Well, you know, the, especially uh, I think uh, the field didn't let us allow, or didn't allow us to play our. Yeah, style of play how we want to, to uh, normally want to play so for me uh, this is what I want of course uh, uh, tomorrow that we are dominating that we playing our uh, own style of football and again you know we have a lot of respect for uh, Motokwa uh, they showed it's a, it's a difficult team uh, to play against and yeah we have we have the advantage of the way go but still you know we want to uh, to attack and score goals, and hopefully uh, we can show that uh, tomorrow. Well, you know, this is not so bad. Uh, it depends how heavy it's going to be raining, and that have influence on on the pitch, you know. So, and then we have to adapt as a team. You know, uh, do we can play in our normal style, or do we have to approach it differently? You know, more the style that we <laughs> did in uh, Montagua, but it's not really. The way we want to, to play, of course, but uh, I expect that uh, you know we have a proper uh, pitch tomorrow. That's why you know we try to uh, save it today, you know, not to damage it too much. And uh, so um, I'm quite hopeful that we have a, a good pitch tomorrow. Well, you know, I think uh, last uh, season uh, when we came down, we we really also we were down also, you know, mentally, and then you know we were still you know into the game, and we had a great reaction, of course, uh, with the goal, and uh, so I think that's uh, also a big step that we made forward, you know, that hey, uh, it doesn't matter, we stick with our plan, we know what we want to do, we know what we want to achieve. So uh, I think we are much mature uh, in that. So hopefully uh, we can use it. Uh, we can use it, you know, of course, in the coming game, but also in, in the future. And, and that's important, you know. Uh, we have enough quality, you know, to in the team that we can score goals. And but sometimes uh, last season, you know, uh, or we weren't there in the, from the beginning, and then suddenly, you know, we were three 0 down. And yeah, I. Don't, I have the feeling that we, uh, that we are yeah, better in that uh, kind of thing. So hopefully uh, we can uh, show that again, you know, every game. Yeah, of course. I think. Regardless of who was going to be on the pitch, going down there was going to be a difficult game from the, the circumstances, uh, but also just being being the away team and, and knowing what this fixture means to, to them in terms of, of playing a, a, a big MLS club. Um, and so we knew we were going to get their best and to then have guys step on the field, um, as you said, in, in, some, in some places uncomfortable spots but but able to do a job I think that speaks volumes about the character I think it speaks volumes about the willingness to 
to roll roll our sleeves up and, and just get after it and, and find a way to, to get a result. And, and ultimately, we, we know we want to be tidy on the ball. We want to keep the ball. We want to possess the ball and, and dictate the pace of the game. Um, uh, but ultimately, that's that's not going to be the case every game, every minute of every game that we that we play in. And so when that doesn't happen, how are we then able to adapt and, and change? And, and I think we've we've shown not only um, last week, but but last year at times that we can we certainly can do that. You know, uh, <clears throat> we want to just play what we think, you know, uh, have the most benefit to win, you know, this game or to go to the next round. And uh, so we're going to adapt every time uh, to our opponent. It's not adapting, you know, like, OK, because they play like this. No, we think, hey, we can play to a different kind of uh, styles. And if we think, hey, with this uh, system, we have the most chance to win, I will play with three in the back, for example, or with uh, four in the back, and uh, and it's good that we know what we what we can expect when we play with four and, and also with three, and uh, so yeah, we are quite multifunctional right now, and uh, I think that's an advantage. And uh, sometimes you want to give some players rest, and then it's yeah, more favorable to play with four because yeah, that's the guy is maybe key for a three in the back, so. Uh, it's, it depends from game to the g game, and uh, tomorrow we're going to see which kind of system it's going to be. Yeah, I mean, you know, watching their their games back, you know, before last week, we we knew that is uh, a strong point of their game in terms of getting the ball wide and, you know, especially down their right side, the getting the ball wide and, and delivering balls into the box and and their strikers have good movement, um, and so I think, you know, of course you look at the goal, um, you know, as as a group, I think we can all do better um, to prevent that from happening. Um, but then there's there's other times where we do a very good job of, of defending those crosses and and so that wasn't a surprise to us we we expected that um, but certainly you know we need to make sure that the communication is there um, but also just our awareness of of where strikers you know attacking players are on the field whether it's in the box whether it's arriving late into the box um, and and when we can get get pressure to the ball and and try and eliminate some of these crosses and eliminate the problem um, before the ball comes into the box so it wasn't a surprise we we knew that um, and and like I said especially on the goal itself I think as a group we've we, we certainly could have done better uh, and obviously because they scored but you know leading up to it as well Yeah, you know, it's certainly a, a stadium that we enjoy. It's an intimate ground, you know, where the, the fans are kind of right on top of us, and, and we like that. I think it it, it causes a, a bit of an imposing feeling uh, on our opponents, and the field is always in, in good shape, and, and hopefully that's the case tomorrow. Um, so that part's a bonus. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, it's nice to be able to, to you know, go from – to be able to go from Mercedes-Benz to, to go to Kennesaw, we're, we're lucky to have a, a home away from home, if you will, in terms of the field, the atmosphere, the environment. And like I said, it, it makes it a, a lot more intimate uh, when we're there. You guys last year were in a very different position coming into the second leg of the first round of Kennesaw than you are in this year. Just what's the, the different feeling now coming in with the away goal versus last year when you knew you had a pretty big goal to climb out of? Yeah, I mean, we, we know that we still have to score. We, we have to win the game. Um, you know, plain and simple. And so we we approach tomorrow with that mind frame and 
you know, yes, it's it's nice to have the away goal, but at the same time, we we know that we've got to go into to the game and, and impose ourselves on them and, and make sure that we try to dictate as much of the game as possible. And, and ultimately, we have to we have to score goals, and so that part doesn't change for us. Um, every time we step on the field, we want to be a team that that not only competes but wins games. And and tomorrow's another opportunity to do that. Eh, no, ellos han demostrado que están en, en buena forma. Eh, ellos creo han jugado bastante bien eh, el primer partido y especialmente eh, yo creo el eh, lado derecha es, es, tiene muy, muy buenas combinaciones. So, tenemos que probar evitar estas cosas. Hemos, hemos analizado esto, hemos sabido Subimos antes, pero ya yeah, el gol que hemos encogido fue en este lado, so ya yeah, tenemos que estar, estar más atentos en eso. Pero eh, tenemos que estar muy atentos en, en todos los aspectos. En, yo creo que cuando estamos así, yeah, tenemos una gran posibilidad para estar en la próxima vuelta, pero tenemos que estar a, a tope, eh, si no, será un partido muy difícil. No, nosotros estamos un equipo que siempre queremos uh, dominar y, y atacar y este no cambia. El único que eh, nuestra favor, uh, cuando ellos no marcan un gol, seguro estamos en la próxima vuelta. Ese, ese es seguro, pero eh, también es un riesgo eh, para jugar eh, que no encontrar un gol. So, pero también es no, no es nuestro estilo. So, eh, tenemos que estar eh, ya, muy atentos y vamos a buscar un gol, eso seguro, pero ya, eh, esa es la diferencia y eh, hemos tenido marcar eh, dos goles contra Herediano el año pasado, y, pero también el, el césped en, allá en el campo artificial fue muy, muy malo en Herediano. Y también este tenía mucha influencia y por esta razón estamos muy contentos normalmente con esta cancha que jugamos mañana. Eh, ya, normalmente podemos jugar ya más nuestro estilo. No, I think we just we, we we talked about the you know the his ability to to move and and free himself, but also our ability to to be closer to him and be more aware of where he's at. Uh, but not just him, you know, it, it was all of their uh, uh, strikers and, and attacking attacking players. Um, so I mean that that part for us wasn't it wasn't a a major conversation, but it was a a conversation had amongst ourselves that said, hey, listen, we need to do a better job of when the ball is wide, where guys are, and and making sure that especially our two center backs are are able to defend crosses and and not get caught. Um, no man's land. Exactly, you know, caught in in no man's land, as as we say, in terms of not able to affect the cross, but, but also not able to affect the, the strikers in the box. And so I thought we did a better job of that. Of course, in the second half, they, you know, I think a, a combination of a little bit of a heavy pitch, tired legs, um, and, you know, with the fact that we are on the road, uh, our backs were certainly against the wall for a, for a stretch of the game. And, um, you know, as, as I said, we were able to, to fight through that adversity and, and, and hang on. And, Um, at the end of the day, that's that's all we needed to do. We needed to just find a way to get a result to, to get us back here to, to, to tomorrow night, um, and hopefully we can finish the job. Well, you know, they are... 
they combine really well together. You know, they know, they anticipate really well. You know, when other one goes first post, the other one directly reacts to the second post. So it's not obvious what they really do. So we have to be very alert, very strong in, in communication, but also what already Brad said, you know, be, you know, not to let them get those crosses really easily in because, yeah, they know uh, that's one of their uh, major qualities. So we have to already stop that. And it, it not always starts, you know, from, from there. It also starts up front that uh, we don't allow them to get the ball in, in his feet. So I think that's the most important thing. You know, we, we are a team who wants to press forward and uh, probably now we, uh, on our own soil, we, we want to do that, of course. Last year, Doug, Joe. Last He's all right, available. Yeah. Did Castillo, did he suffer a break to that rib, or is it just... He had a broken rib, yeah. It is broken? Yeah. And you have that estimation of the one that's in the middle of the track? No, but he, he was on the, on the treadmill today, so it went without pain, so it's looking promising, but, you know, it's like week to week, you know, right now, uh, so I cannot really give you a date, you know, so... Uh, Probably, you know, it can be two weeks, uh, it can be one week, but uh, we have to see, you know. No, because he still doesn't have his uh, official papers, you know, and, uh, you know, there is a pile, I think, somewhere in an office, and maybe he's uh, on the bottom. And, you know, that's how it goes. And it's really frustrating for him, for me, for his teammates, for the club. And uh, because first he has to get that approval, then he can go with that approval to uh, uh, Rio, I think. And then he gets, uh, you know, in, in four or five days, hopefully he gets his uh, work permit and his visa. So uh, still it can be like two weeks or three weeks. And uh, again, it's very frustrating uh, for all parties. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, guys.